The sea can be a very scary place. Apart from terrible storms and other dangers that a vast body of water can pose without any extra help, the human mind can easily get preoccupied with sharks, giant marine cephalopods, and various borderline unimaginable animals that lurk within. And that's just the sea today. Back in the day, things were a whole lot scarier. There has been life in the sea for over 3.5 billion years, and more complicated life forms started emerging some 560 million years ago. Things got truly interesting some 20 to 70 million years after that, when a strange evolutionary event called the Cambrian Explosion caused marine life to evolve at a rapid pace. This started yielding some fairly curious results, and over the years, the depths of the seas have played host to all sorts of creepy and extremely dangerous animals. Here's a look at the strangest and most frightening ones. 1. Megalodon Much like Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven is a likely candidate to turn up on lists of best classic rock songs, the Megalodon's presence here is unlikely to ruffle feathers. Thanks to the 2018 action movie The Meg and its 2023 sequel, this ancient megatooth shark enjoys a prominent pop culture presence few other sea beasts can hope to rival. Not that the Megalodon doesn't deserve every bit of this attention, though. Armed with massive teeth and a bite diameter of nearly 10 feet, it was a versatile apex predator that was able to haunt multiple parts of the ocean based on its life cycle. Young specimens tended to stalk warm and shallow waters, but when they grew bigger and more powerful, they started venturing into deeper and colder areas to sate their hunger with larger prey, which included more or less everything else in the seas, including whales. The largest recorded fish species in history, the Megalodon stalked the seas during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs, from roughly 23 million years ago to around 2.58 million years ago. Physically, it likely resembled a gigantic white shark with the average length of around 33.5 feet, though researchers have posited that the largest specimens could be up to 82 feet long. Oh, and to give you an idea of what awaited its prey, those mighty jaws could chomp with a bite force of up to 182,201 newtons, nearly 10 times that of a white shark. 2. Mosasaur Much like megalodons, the mosasaur has had its share of the limelight. In the Jurassic World series, the aquatic beast is the one predatory creature that's utterly invincible, to the point that it handily defeats the genetically engineered Indominus Rex monstrosity with a single bite. The Jurassic World version of the creature is up to 262 feet long, which is obviously a fairly blatant exaggeration as far as science knows. The biggest real mosasaurs were around 56 feet long. Apart from this size discrepancy, however, the cinematic creature's fearsome representation isn't all that far removed from the real historical mosasaur status in the food chain. Agile and powerful, the mosasaur was one of the mighty marine predators during the Cretaceous period of roughly 145 to 66 million years ago. They were equipped with fearsome jaws that could not only chomp with plenty of power, but were also able to spread out sideways if they were trying to chow down something particularly large. Rather than a single species, mosasaurs were actually a group of similar reptilian predators, many of which specialized in specific types of prey. This was evident in their teeth. The mosasaurs that went after softer prey had serrated sharp teeth, while ones that preferred shelled prey like turtles and crustaceans had rounded teeth that were custom designed for crushing. 3. Helicoprion Helicoprion isn't the biggest or fiercest shark-like predator on this list. However, it certainly has the most unique bite. When fossils of this animal started turning up, scientists were mystified by its strange buzzsaw-shaped tooth formation and spent quite some time figuring out precisely where it goes. The problem was made worse by the fact that the fossils were incomplete, which caused various paleontologists to make a series of educated and outlandish guesses of its proper placement. Some thought it was a rolled-up external formation on the upper or lower jaw. Others posited that the tooth whorl was actually a series of spikes located elsewhere in the fish's body, or even that it was a completely round protrusion that made the animal resemble a pizza cutter. In 2013, the truth finally emerged. Helicoprion's tooth whorl was a buzzsaw-like spiral structure that filled its lower jaw, and the animal itself was a shark-like prehistoric ratfish. The tooth whorl was a complicated apparatus where different teeth served their own purpose. With it, 
the helicoprion could hook the prey, cut it, and push it in its mouth in one swift motion. Because of this unique and eerie oral setup, the animal was able to eat just about any prey. 4. Plesiosaurus Various types of plesiosaurs were found in many corners of the planet's oceans from 215 to 66 million years ago. The classic plesiosaurus was an early member of the team and was roughly 15 feet long. It was instantly recognizable from its long neck, aerodynamic body, and prominent fins, as well as its sharp teeth, of course. The plesiosaurus might be one of the most famous prehistoric aquatic reptile predators out there. This is not because it was the largest or the most terrifying looking thing in the ocean, but because persistent theories suggest that they might still be around today. The Loch Ness Monster is one of the most famous cryptids in the world, and the possibility of its existence has continued to allure laymen and scientists alike. People have suggested that the legendary Scottish monster could be anything from a huge sturgeon or Greenland shark to a large eel. But one theory that keeps popping up is that the Loch Ness Monster could be a surviving freshwater plesiosaur of some sort. While there's no solid evidence to support this theory, or any other Loch Ness Monster theory for that matter, it at least keeps the plesiosaur's name on people's lips. 5. Tanistrophius Tanistrophius hydroids is a peculiarity on this list in more ways than one. This up to 20-foot predator swam around the seas some 242 million years ago, and it's famous for making very little sense to paleontologists thanks to its huge necked build that isn't quite fit for a marine animal or a land animal. Its neck was also remarkably stiff for its length, which added to the mystery. In 2220, researchers finally figured out that the Tanistrophius was a water predator that lived in shallow waters, likely lying still and snatching fish and squid as they swam by. There was also a smaller version of this peculiar predator called T. longobardicus. This strange beast with its snake-like neck was no doubt a terrible foe for its prey, but its strange build meant that it wasn't without its own predators. The long neck was a bit of a weakness, and larger beasts with strong enough jaws were able to target it and even potentially decapitate the Tanistrophius. 6. Pliosaur Pliosaurs were a terrifying aspect of life in the ocean from 200 to 65.5 million years ago. A group of monsters that vary greatly in size, they were mighty predators that enjoyed the combined advantage of strength, speed, and a maw full of sharp, ridged teeth that were custom designed for repeated bite attacks. The large, powerful, and deadly pliosaurs were such efficient predators that Bristol University's Dr. Andre Rowe has compared them to another famous prehistoric danger. The animal would have been so massive that I think it would have been able to prey effectively on anything that was unfortunate enough to be in its space. He analyzed a particularly well-preserved fossil in an interview with the BBC. I have no doubt that this was sort of like an underwater T-Rex. It's no surprise then that these creatures were the top dogs of their day, to the point that the biggest threat to a pliosaur was another pliosaur. Pliosaurs varied widely in size, and as such, they can be difficult to categorize. One particularly difficult beast is the Kronosaurus, which was around 40 feet long and could swallow a person whole. Though whole was an unlikely option for its prey, given its array of 12-inch teeth. While they're generally accepted to be a type of Pliosaur, Kronosaurus fossils are so different from each other that researchers aren't completely certain which ones belong in the genus and which ones don't. 7. Liviatin One of the great sea beasts in fiction is the titular white whale in Herman Melville's Moby Dick. Appropriately enough, when scientists discovered a massive predatory whale from 12 or 13 million years ago, they named it Liviatin Melville to pay homage to Melville's creation. In fact, the whale was so impressive that the original plan was to go all in on the monster front and call the creature Leviathan Melville to combine the Moby Dick imagery with the name of a giant biblical sea serpent. But Leviathan was already taken, so they pivoted to the Hebrew word for the mythological creature. So how impressive was Liviatin to warrant such a cool scientific name? Impressive enough to handily beat a megalodon in a fight if necessary, it turns out. This prehistoric predator could be up to 60 feet long and somewhat resembled a massive sperm whale with a disproportionately huge four-foot-wide mouth that was full of 14-inch teeth. 
While it's clear that it was a highly dangerous apex predator, there are still many mysteries around Liviatin, seeing as only one partial skull has been found. The ocean is already a scary place today, but millions of years ago, it was even worse. Back then, the sea was full of giant, powerful animals that were built to hunt and survive. Creatures like Megalodon, Liviatan, and Pleosaur were at the top of the food chain, with huge teeth, strong jaws, and bodies made for speed and power. Some had long necks, others had strange saw-like mouths, and all of them were deadly. These ancient sea monsters lived in a time when life was tough. To stay alive, they had to be stronger, faster, and smarter than everything else around them. Even though they are now extinct, their fossils show us how wild and dangerous the ocean used to be. Thinking about these creatures reminds us that the world was once very different. The deep sea held monsters that were bigger and scarier than anything we see today. And while they're gone, their stories still amaze us, and maybe even make us a little scared of what might still be hiding in the deep.